Hi guys, um, I didn't really want to start this video off like this, but I started editing and I realized that I completely lost the first clip of me starting to style and talk about the wig. Um, but basically I'm going to be styling my Sigma wig um, and I'm starting off by detangling the wig first, brushing it all out. So the next clip will be a time lapse of me doing that. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm so sorry that I lost the first clip. I don't know what happened. I looked everywhere on my phone and my computer and everything, and I just can't find it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, I just finished brushing out this whole wig. The time lapse will be before this, but I'm probably gonna start by straightening all the sections because that'll be a lot easier to curl, especially because it'll calm down some of the frizz that just started happening from combing the wig. And then after that, I'm gonna start sectioning as I straight, or I'm gonna section it all, then I'm gonna start straightening, and then I'm gonna go in with the curling. So another time lapse until i start curling i forgot to hit play mm -hmm. i was talking to no one for Daddy. good besides you babe mm -hmm. i was talking to nothing no phone for a good two minutes guys but um i'm not sectioning this off I'm just going to go in and straighten the ends just because it's easier than undoing all of the sectioning work I'm going to do for the curling process because that's what's going to take the most time. Um, so I'm going to do that really quick and yeah. Okay, guys, this is the first layer. Oh, this is so soft. But it as you can soft. see, the bottoms are straightened for the most part. I'm just gonna. I'm not left handed. But also, a note to remember hair sets and like curls and straightens and stuff like that when it's cooling off. So if you don't see like. And any sort of reaction right away wait for the wig to cool down that's another thing i'm going to show you guys when i start curling the wig because when i curl it i have to literally hold it and wait for it to curl on like as it's cooling for it to actually work so just don't forget that pointer because i know i used to get really frustrated at myself thinking like I wasn't good at wig styling when it was just the fact that I just didn't have the patience for it. <laughs> but yeah, don't forget that part. But I'm going to keep going with the second layer now. Second layer's done. Okay, time for the last one. wig i hate two-tone wig heating up i mean straightening wow okay 
but I finished shortening the wig for the most part. It's very, it's more uneven than I expected. I don't know why I expected anything, I guess, less in a sense. I got this wig off Amazon of all places. But, um, yes, the wig is straightened. So now I'm going to go about sectioning it. And I actually got some alligator clips. I got a pack and it came with a comb. But I got a pack and then um, this canvas wig. It'll be linked in my Amazon storefront um actually came with some too and like some pins and stuff like that so now i'm going to go about sectioning this which is probably going to be one of the longest steps of this okay I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it by, in a sense, subsection because of how much I'm going to have to section off, especially the bottom curls. So this is going to be a very long curling process. Also note for all you guys who are like, oh, I want to get a long haired cosplay. Be prepared for how much these things fucking uh, be prepared for how much these wigs shed. Okay, guys, that's that's your this is your final warning. Your only your first and only warning because holy crap, I have taken out so much like hair and stuff. Also, you guys might be wondering, Lila, why don't you just full curl that whole like the whole section because it won't curl properly. Trust me, I have curled one too many wigs to know that it won't curl the way I need it to curl if actually I'm probably gonna use my hair ties for these longer pieces mm -hmm. but I think I finally hit the base but yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm grab it make sure I have the whole section and then I'm gonna twist to get the weird layered part and then I'm gonna pin it right at that base and throw it over. So when I'm done, I think what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna grab all these long pieces right here and then just tie them with a rubber band at the end, just so none of it comes like crashing down on my face or come apart as I'm styling the wig. Did that feel nice? <laughs> I didn't mean for it to be that loud. Did that feel nice, love? Yeah. That's good, but yeah. So I'm just gonna do that with the rest of these sections because I need this little these two base strands I know it looks thin but trust me if I took this whole section to curl because of the layering of this wig it wouldn't work <laughs> We have the little subsection and now I have to turn my straightener back on but now it's time to actually show you guys how I curl my wigs Woo, after all of this time but then I'm gonna grab the ends and we're gonna do one straight through pass again just to make sure because again it has these weird like layered sections but it has like these weird little subsections and I'm pretty I don't know if you guys yeah you guys can see that but I'm pretty sure it's just for like layering purposes I know I also have an angel dust cosplay coming so if you guys want a tutorial on that wig let me know as well but that one probably won't be for a little bit I need to find the wig I wanted to use because I was just going to use an old white wig that I had. Um, but yeah, let me guys, let me know what you guys think. And we're going to start. I would say like don't try this at home, but at the same time, this is just the technique I use. I grab my finger to curl my wigs like while they're still warm. That can burn you, so please be careful. Synthetic hair gets very hot. 
Yep, that's what I was going to say. But I usually grab it like this, run it through the straightener. The straightener did not get hot. It did not get on the straightener at all. But I run it through. Then quickly grab my finger and start rolling it. I think the wig cooled off too quickly. Yeah. Okay, so let me let's roll this again. This is a very time consuming process, guys. So do not worry. Okay, and then part of the wig is I'm suddenly going to be very ambidextrous for this video, but we're going to do it by section. Okay. But yes, the this is very, very warm, so please be careful, especially because you can risk, like, actually, actually burning your finger. So please be safe while doing this. But what I like to do is I like to hold it and literally just wait for this to dry down on my finger. I gotta put my glasses up. Ah! Okay. I was about to ask if you wanted help. <laughs> okay. But I just wait for this to dry and then it usually gets very warm when you're working on this wig. So keep that in mind, guys. Do you need a cool neck cap? Same thing. That's true. But... Okay, it's cooled down now. So, there you go. Pretty wig. And then I like to just brush it out a little bit with my finger. But, obviously as you can see, this part isn't, this part wasn't heated for the curl. But, there is a, it's very curly on the bottom, which is the part we need. This part won't matter as much, especially because I can literally just grab this, tap, tap, tap tap and then just quickly wrap my finger around it to fix it because this is a longer wig but you can see how curly this is don't mind this i literally just brush my finger through the wig but yeah there is one curl i will show you guys how to do another curl but also as you can see the tiny strands but i'm thinking i might just like let the but there you go see easy fix but I might just do the tiny strands on its own curl. Just so I don't have to stress out personally about it. But, okay. Gonna wait a few seconds. This usually takes around, I'd want to say, 15 to 30 seconds. It just depends on how much of the wig was heated. Like, which is why I do thin it out, because sometimes the heat will not go through the whole wig. But, so let's do this again. And I missed it. So you very much have to do, like, some trial and error. This is also trial and error for me, because I don't style longer wigs. It isn't really my... Forte. Okay, and then this part cooled. I really am going to be amb ambidextrous today, guys. Mm -hmm. but let's go back to back here. And then, ow. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Then the next section. And then what I'm ow, trying to do, so I don't burn myself that I'm failing, is um, taking the strand of hair that I just heated up and putting it over my finger. But please, if you can, don't do what I'm doing. I might just grab a pencil just to do it that way, so I don't keep burning off my finger. But we'll see. <laughs> Whatever comes first. But this is cooling down. 
I usually like to tap the top part just to see. And then there we go. But yeah, don't do this. Your finger will be pink, okay? But also I can't, I really can't say anything because I'm also doing it. Just if you're gonna mm -hmm. follow my steps exactly, just please be safe about it. Actually have slight patience to wait for the wig to cool down a few seconds till you can actually safely touch it without it hurting. Because as long as the wig is warm, you can curl it, okay, at the end of the day. I just have no patience. So, let's see. There we go. Two pretty curls so far. So, I'm going to keep doing this with the rest of the wig. Um, and when I get to the next layer, I will show you how I brush these out. But, yeah. <laughs> I think it's been two hours and uh this is the progress so far um still got a lot to do <laughs> so um gonna keep going um might get food in a little bit but we'll see but yeah it is currently twelve thirty six. so this is fun guys <laughs> So, it's the next day. Um, I fell asleep. I had a headache. This wig is killing me. Okay? So, um, is this even straight? It wasn't. But, I fell asleep. I didn't finish the wig. Good thing I'm not in a time crunch for this wig, boys. But, this is how it is looking so far. We got the curls. I'm planning on probably watering down the wig a bit because the bottom part is very, very frizzy, but I was also going to wait till I finish the whole wig. But yeah, so I'm going to continue to straighten the wig, or not straighten, curl the sections. As you can see, I still have to do this whole section right here, but I'm going to keep doing that. Also, Markiplier time. I might change it to another Disney movie. We'll see. Okay? Okay. finally on to the next layer as you can see all the long part is done it's curled this isn't centered okay now it's centered so you can see it's a little frizzy but that's obviously because I brushed it out because I didn't want tight curls for this wig I wanted more natural looking hair but when I hairspray it I'm planning to probably put some of the hairspray in my hand as I'm brushing the hair out or spraying it and then just dabbing it and then using it like it's water but yes so now I'm going to do the same tactic that I was doing before except because the layers are shorter it is going to be much easier to work with and less time consuming overall so let me grab the little chunk and that's what we're gonna do and because it's still a bit long I think I'm probably going to keep doing the little heated up sections, but if I can go just like 
straight through and then just curl it right on my finger because of how short it is then I will do that but because I think I can just do that now yep there we go so this is usually how I curl wigs I literally just heat it up grab it and then just roll it on my finger right away um, sometimes I'll like grab it as soon as I heat it and just like sway it like this just so the ends cool off a bit which makes it easier for me to cool especially if the rest of the wig is still warm it'll still keep the part that I'm curling still warm so then I'm just gonna wait do, 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 do. and then I like to hold the base and I just do this and then I brush it out a bit and it looks a little funky because of the fact of there are the weird little strands over here but if anything I can always just fix this curl because I'm probably just gonna combine it with more hair so the curls look cleaner so let me do that right away I just need to get rid of those little baby parts which has been annoying but it's okay we'll work with it so I do this set my straighten it down and then I quickly roll it in my finger and then just again a warning please be careful if you can maybe put on some gloves I don't I don't know why I don't do that but um probably put on gloves or try to curl it with a pencil or something different or just don't be as impatient as I am and um like wait and then do it right away wait probably five seconds and then curl it but try not to be impatient as me because like my finger is pink it's still like a little pink from yesterday too and i only use my index fingers which i think makes it worse um but <laughs> yeah um same with this finger but there you go and then you have a nice pretty little curl and i'm going to continue doing this next layer so i will see you when i'm all done okay i'm taking a pause on this wig i have to go with harrison to run some errands but this is what it's looking like i will be back i think i just have this top section left and then the bangs and then i should be done and obviously you can see this perfectly straight strand that I still have to finish, but it is getting later and we have to start heading out. So I will come back to finish the rest of the wig later. Bye guys. I'm back. It's time to finish this wig. So I'm going to keep going with my curling technique and yeah, hopefully I can finish this wig quickly. <laughs> I'm done for the night again so I have now been working on this wig for two days I just need to go home and actually do some like stuff and then I also obviously have like work like actual work in the morning but this is how the wigs looking I still have the little top part over here to do and then obviously the bangs but hopefully I can have that knocked out by tomorrow so see you guys then okay we're back. It's day three of working on this wig. Um, yeah, so it's time to finish this wig. It's time. It's time, guys. But I'm um, just going to tackle up the front. I got to turn on my handy dandy straightener. And we're going to keep straightening all this. And um, more time lapse time. Okay. Okay guys, I am on the last little section of curling this wig. Um, it's the home stretch now, guys. 
but then afterwards i'm gonna show you how to touch up a wig because some of these curls did uncurl a bit so afterwards i'm gonna show you how to do that and yeah so time for hopefully the final time skip of this video and then the wig should almost be done or practically be done so wig is mostly done um i just need to probably fix up the fringe over here because for some reason this side is very fluffy and then this side very much isn't but time to do the bangs i'm also gonna still curl the bangs and then keep them like the part i'm not gonna make them like straight across bangs or anything um but yeah so i'm just gonna curl those to frame each side of the face and then i'll be done Okay, besides some little touch-ups, Sigma's wig is done! Uh, depending on when I edit this video and post it, if I've already done their cosplay, I will probably put some photos on this video, like, somewhere in this area. If not, take a meme. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know in the comments and subscribe. And yeah, bye guys!